welcome to lesson 15. In this lesson, we'll go over uh, the perspective grid tool. So let's start. First, we'll click to enable it. As you can see, you got a grid showing your perspective. Now you can change the grid like this. And we can change how it looks, how big it is, how many lines, whether the line is here or here. As you can see, you got control of how, how it's going on. You can also shift it up and down. It is very, a very powerful tool and you should definitely master it. For now, we'll just uh, make it bigger and set it to default settings. And uh, in order to quickly show you what's going on, I will choose a shape like rectangle tool and start drawing. As you can see, everything is distorted to look like it's in perspective. So we can uh, do an ellipse tool here. Be careful where you draw because if you draw here, it will most likely try to draw on the bottom grid and not on the top grid. You can also draw stores, of course, if you want, and so on. Uh, now you can choose the right grid, if you want to draw on the right grid. Or the bottom grid. Now, this is, of course, you can uh, have uh, move them around, and so on. The last thing I want to show you is the Perspective Selection tool. Similar to using, you can move objects around with it. And still maintaining perspective. In order to close this mode, you just press the small height grid. And there you go. The objects are created high in perspective. That's it for this lesson. And see you in lesson 6.